what's inside of here. Need a torch. I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. Do I have a torch? X, Y, Z, Z, Y. What? Wow, neat! It's magic! Oh, I can teleport if I get lost. But, I have to find my way. No torch yet. It's too dark to see anything. Damn. Need the quarantine ship flag. Yep. Alright, let's head back. We should be able to get the Coast Guard off our backs now. over here. I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. It's an old oil lamp with a little lamp fuel inside. I thought this sword was like... So whatever. Ugh, looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. What really bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? looking at me funny, and I don't trust it. This is like crackers. Halt, ship! This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Here, look! I have limes! See? To proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Fill this out and be completely honest.
right? Let's see how you've done. Well, we have a problem right off the start. We don't allow pirates on Bermuda. I'm going to have to request that you leave these waters immediately. Does it help if I'm a mighty pirate? No. Back so soon, to proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs decoration form. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Fill this out and be completely honest. Right? Let's see how you've done. Hmm. Good answer. Interesting you would check that one. Good penmanship. Not checking that was smart. Okay. This looks in order. You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. Wow. Thought he would never let me pass. Get a boy stand, man. The wind must have blown out the fire. The bucket filled to the brim with rotten fish bones. It's amazing they stay lit in this weather. I'm staying far away from this. The wind must have blown out the fire. It's a very regal looking ice sculpture. It says, Courthouse of Bermuda. It's locked. Maybe I'll come back later. Well, it's the same guy. Now there's someone I've got to meet. Oh yeah, the ice lady. Order! Order in the court! I am going to cite you for contempt of court for not asking permission to approach the bench. I humbly apologize. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. How do you plead? Innocent. Due to lack of evidence, all charges have been dropped. Order! Order in the court! Quiet on the gallery or there will be arrests!
Did I mention I am searching for the secret of Monkey Island? Until it becomes a legal matter before the court, it is of no interest to me. Although, I do remember a case several years back where the secret was claimed to be a fraud and a scam to sell computer games. I believe that was settled out of court for a substantial sum. What did your honor do wrong to get this appointment? Never beat a Supreme Court justice in cribbage. Your Honor, do you have to buy your own robes? <laughs> or are they court appointed? Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! Your Honor, are you wearing pants under that robe? Please remember that you're under oath. Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! That is all, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! Super weird. Is there anything special about this stump? No. Why? Well, it was tagged, so I thought... You know, maybe there would be a great gag about a secret opening to a system of tunnels or something like that. Please, don't joke about tunnels next to the prison, sir. The guard is guardedly guarding the guardhouse. <sighs> Do not approach the gate, please, sir. Hi. Any chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here. Just out. What's the purpose of your visit? I was hoping for a tour. We don't give tours here. The only people allowed inside are the prisoners. And also, I suppose, people visiting the prisoners. But no one ever does that. I'd like to visit a prisoner, please. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms. Or his lips. That does sound like him. But I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. Are you in the chums? Um, not saying anything. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. Listen. Let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right. But if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people, a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with the hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Okay. It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden...
my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. Yeah, that's the way. You almost sound like a real angler. Not a half bad story. You know who you should talk to? Elaine Marley. She's kind of famous, but she's nice. She might see you. She just might. Thanks. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend stand together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right, you can go in and see him. But no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. All clear. Toasty. You know, Stan? Way in the back. You know, Stan? Way in the back. Seen Stan? Keep on walking. You'll find him. Seen Stan? Keep on walking, you'll find him. <laughs> you know where Stan is? Keep on walking. You'll find him. You know where Stan is? Way in the back. Like Santa Claus. Seen Stan? Keep on walking. You'll find him. Loud guy. Big hat. Way in the back. It looks like a secret escape tunnel. Looks like a prisoner escaped. Probably through that tunnel. Hey, Stan. Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? Some sort of a sales pitch, I expect. Pitches are for baseball, son. I make introductions. I'm like a matchmaker between you and your future. I want you to consider these two words. Ice, sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength, elegance, transparency. Together, they could be life-changing. The chill of the Arctic- Dan, eh, I don't think so. Don't wait too long, they're selling like hotcakes. Did you know there's an escape tunnel over there? Oh no, son, I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here. Smiling Stan as Stanman. I sure did get off light. Lucky for me they never caught on to my pyramid scheme or I'd probably be doing 10 years. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management. Easy if you know what to do with the figures. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records... Well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork.
Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? Like I said, I'll be out in a month anyway. I can handle the shackles until then. What was the name of your accountant again? Ned Filigree. He's good, and he works cheap. Be careful, though. He's got a hang-up about meticulous record-keeping that can be problematic if anyone looks too close. My hunt for the secret of Monkey Island is going great. Good for you, kid. Closing time comes too soon for us all. You gotta try all the snacks you can before it does. This place sure is quiet. That's what productivity sounds like. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. It's the... Hi, I'm working do... Elaine and I could use some marketing advice. The Marley Foundation is trying to combat scurvy by distributing limes, but no one's willing to take them. I feel your pain, son. I had a similar problem selling life preservers in the farming community. Sometimes people don't know what they want even when they want it. You got any promotional materials? Elaine made this pamphlet. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I see the problem. It's wrong from top to bottom. You couldn't sell water to fish with this blather. It's a little dry. Well, it's got facts in it. Worse than that, scientific facts. I'll need to meet with her to iron this out. Can't you just tell me what to do and I'll tell her? No, no, that won't do. Things get lost in translation. A winnie isn't a winnie if it doesn't come out of a horse's mouth. No shade on you, son, but you're not a pro. You wouldn't be able to convey the nuance that's needed here. She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I'll let her know. I think I'll poke around a little. You and... I have to break him out to see her. So... You've got talent. You've got talent. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Very cool. Love what you're doing there. Okay, it's lit. fall from here. Roaring fire, melting ice, very hoogly. Welcome, loyal subject. It's slowly filling up with castle. Ah. These matches are specially formulated for freezing temperatures. Disclaimer, will not light underwater. I'm sure there are plenty.
at the end of the plank. My only copy. Please don't touch it. Hi. Grunt. I didn't quite catch that. Erg. I see. Want to discuss Cartesian philosophy for a few hours? Grunt. Yeah, I feel you. Grunt. Grunt. Hmm. Grunt. 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 <laughs> Your Majesty? <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda. Your guy brushed Threepwood, aren't you? I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. Elaine? You sound uncertain. How many wives have you got? Just the one I'm aware of. What brings you north of the 19th parallel, Guybrush? Is that one of the golden keys on your head? Welded to my crown. That's correct. The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? My predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. Naturally, you'll want to have that cleaned once in a while. It stays perfectly clean as long as I don't let greasy pirates put their paws all over it. You may touch the crown if and when you become queen. And not before. Become queen. Interesting. Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become queen of Bermuda? You have to earn it. Win it. Wrest it from the iron grip of the previous queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome to try. To become queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current queen in three contests. The contests test your heartiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence. Can I select a champion to compete for me? Assuming you don't mind that your champion becomes queen, and you yourself are still not allowed to touch the crown. Yeah, that second part sounds like a deal breaker. Can you give me more details on the contests to become queen? The contest of heartiness is an eating contest. Raw fish. Call it sushi if it helps you sleep better. The contest of seriousness is one where you must keep a straight face. Whoever laughs first loses. Which I never do. The contest of intelligence is an algebra test. 20 second time limit, best answer wins. And yes, I do always have the best answer. You sound like you're serious about this. I challenge you to the contest of intelligence. Come with me. We've got to go downtown. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Dios mio! Another challenge! Welcome, Your Majesty and Mr. Threepwood to the Contest of Intelligence! In front of each of you is an advanced algebra problem. You are to solve it as completely as you can and remember to show your work. No peeking, no copying, no swapping papers, and no cheating whatsoever. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. 
Your time starts now. No copying. Time's up. I'll take your papers. Hmm. Hmm? No surprises here. Queen Odina has delivered a clear and correct answer with a step-by-step -step proof. Mr. Threepwood has written the words, correct answer. Queen Odina is the winner. Better luck next time. Okay, when we get back, we'll try something else.